What's going on YouTube? Giosno right here. So in today's video I have very important information to discuss about the Uncover jailbreak and what you need to do, you know, in preparation for installing Uncover when it comes out. Now the reason I'm making this video is because some of these things that I'm going to discuss are really very very important and not doing it may even prevent you from being able to jailbreak or may render your device broken to the point where you would pretty much have to update to a non-jailbroken version. So as you can see, Pound own is pretty much wrapping up the testing and so on and fixing whatever is left. So I would assume there are a few more days before we're going to see finally the uncover for iOS 12. Now this is an important thing to keep in mind. If you have been running the rootless jailbreak you will need to do a few things in order to make sure that you are clean and also if you have OTA updates you have to get rid of them. So at first if you're running rootless jailbreak what do you need to do? Well as you probably know these two jailbreaks are completely different. They have have completely different paradigms behind them and they work in a completely different way. So normally they would collide if you would keep both of them on the same device. Now by default Uncover will probably try to get rid of rootless jailbreak when you try to install Uncover and run it the first time because otherwise they would indeed conflict. Now you can rely on that or you can go ahead and clean up yourself. The uh, jailbreak itself, the rootless jailbreak does have a feature to you know get rid of the jailbreak but if you have indeed modified the file system then it's actually better to leave it to uncover because it would probably try to you know restore the file system to a proper state before attempting to jailbreak. Now why I'm saying this? Well with the rootless jailbreak people were able to do some modifications to the var partition and there were folders that were created and there were files that were created. Some people modified their devices to have a different text on the lock screen, to have a different text on the carrier and whatever other modifications that could have been done by editing files and not by installing a tweak. So if you did this kind of modifications you would probably want to ask me about them because then I will be able to tell you what exactly you should do because these modifications may interfere with the jailbreak. Now as far as I know Uncover by Pound to Own has a very very powerful mechanism for cleaning up the uh, file system and ensuring that there is nothing to conflict with. But even in that case if you did modifications to your file system you should probably mention them in the comment section so that I can pretty much assess the damage and try to tell you what you should do. And don't get me wrong some of these modifications are completely harmless and they are probably not going to break anything but some of the modifications that one could do with Falza and with Rootless can indeed be dangerous. So yeah if you're still running the Rootless jailbreak and you will run it the next few days before Uncover is out I would definitely recommend you not to carry out any important modifications to the file system. It can mean the difference between being able to jailbreak or not. Now the next thing that I would like to discuss and is very 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 important in fact it's crucial is to remove the OTA update. Now the OTA update is pretty much the update to the next iOS version and you have that in the settings. When you go into the settings into the software update you're going to see that it's downloaded and it's waiting to install for example iOS 12.1.4. If you do have an update that has been downloaded and it's waiting to be installed remove it. You go to settings to the storage and you're going to see in there iOS 12.1.3 or 12.1.4 or whatever. Press on that and press delete before running uncover but make sure it doesn't download again. I mean if you do it right now by the time the uncover jailbreak is out the update might have already downloaded again. So make sure you do that right before you install Uncover or you do that now but also install the tvOS profile to prevent any updates from being downloaded. People have been known to bootloop their devices to the point where the device doesn't start anymore by running Uncover on top of an OTA update. So Pound to Own recommends that you go ahead and check if you have any updates and if you do remove them, install the tvOS profile and make sure no updates are are downloaded by the time you jailbreak. This is very important. It can produce serious damage to the device if you run Uncover on top of that. So very important. Do it now. Install the tvOS profile. It's better to be safe than sorry. Now of course Pound to Own did in fact create a mechanism inside Uncover to prevent updates from being downloaded ever again after you install Uncover. But that's only the case after you jailbreak with Uncover. So not before. So of course if you do have an OTA 
update downloaded, by the time Pound to Own's mechanism would kick in, that would be too little too late. So make sure you do not have any updates. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated when Uncover is out and I will mention these in the tutorial by the time this is out. But I wanted to make sure that everybody is on the same page and everybody knows what is the risk and what they should do before installing Uncover when it comes out. Because I don't want any of you to miss out on this jailbreak just because of a mistake regarding the OTA updates and so on. Thank you for watching. I'm Gia Snow. Till the next time. Peace out.